Uh, Melissa Shaw auditioning for the part of Polly Titian. If I become governor, we will create a social distancing policy to flatten the curve of the homophile infection so less young men become gay. Ma'am. Wearing masks will become mandatory with stay-at-home quarantines. The Irish will be placed into re-education camps. And when the homos come knocking on your door, asking for your children like it's some perverted trick-or-treat, we can be ready to... Ma'am, I really don't think that's necessary. There's never been any kind of evidence that supports what you've been saying. Are you being serious? Okay. The manterrupting needs to stop. That's an act of violence against me, and I'm starting to feel unsafe. When you bring two godless heathens onto your show and give them a platform to spread the lies of their filthy agenda, I have a duty to stand up for truth and common sense. So, I'm dead serious. Look at my face. Sweetie, you have the kind of face that's in need of punching. Do I have to put a hole in it just to open up your mind? Well, that was uncalled for. No, that's what violence would actually be. Maybe if you understood a damn thing about anything. I have to understand? The internet says you people wear women's clothing. Oh, the internet, huh? Just to trick straight men into sleeping with you, and when you got them in your trap, you turn them into a gay. Is that what you did to this young man with you? Ma'am, we don't have much time left, and I'd like to get to this. You've supported the passage of the God Offender Registry. Can you tell our viewers why? And I'd like to get Foxy's opinion on that. It's trash. Well, you would think that, wouldn't you? So, each state and territory will have a listing of each offender's picture and home address as a public health crisis. The website is already being created in anticipation of the bill being signed into law. And it will be online shortly after. You have a vigilante out there killing homosexuals and you want to give their home addresses? You're creating a hit list. Well, we have to do something. We have a pandemic on our hands. But public shaming isn't effective. It, it makes the desperate even more dangerous when they can't get a job and have nothing to lose. If anything, it can lead to more crime. I mean, look at Thaddeus McQueen. He's been rejected by society and look what he's become. Well, solutions don't have to make sense to be morally right. I know this is a good law because I feel it in my heart. You have one? <clears throat> Look, all you perverts have to do is check in with the police every few months and do the lifetime registration you're dealt with. Don't go near a school or playground and you won't have a problem. It's like a type of probation. Which is punitive. No, don't give me that cruel and unusual punishment nonsense. It doesn't violate the Eighth Amendment. It's administrative, not punishment. We're just managing your life. If they don't want to go to jail for something we think they'll do someday, then it's really for their own protection. You can't punish people in America for what you think they might do. You're just doing this for political power to get elected. Doesn't that make you the real predator here? Homosplaining. Is that what I'm still hearing? You know, you remind me of Thaddeus. He was my neighbor's son. When it was found out he was looking at gay porno rags in his room, his daddy beat him with a belt and threatened to kick him out if he didn't change. I suggested that he take a bath with salt water and lemon juice. Uh -huh. The aromatherapy and essential oils cleared out his demons. It cured him of those homo thoughts because I threatened to have him arrested if it didn't. So, you see, the laws do work. But you know what happened? That boy grew up and continued his sins behind his daddy's back, and now look at him. I was the prosecutor on his case and sent him to the CDC. But when he got out, he thanked my leniency by trying to kill the president. And some of you are saying he even tried to hump his leg. That's the level of derangement we're dealing with here. So, if I'm tough on you, it's for your own good. The government knows what's best for you, and there's hope out there if you just listen. That's Christian love. Don't forget that. And come election day, just remember who tried to help ya, Miss Politician for Governor. Thank you.